You know, I wasn't planning this. I wasn't planning this at all. But apparently what just happened is I made one other run today. Here I am. I just killed the stage 5 boss. And since I don't know when we'll next have the opportunity to show this, I'm going to make a video of just stage 6, which is this one. Hello everyone, Sagatrius. We're gonna play a Chrono Arc. And this is a special bonus episode, you could say, even though I'll probably air it as tomorrow's episode, so I have so I have like a buffer. Because I uh like episode seven was just released one and a half hours ago. This is going to be episode seven point five. But I'll up uh on Monday. But I'll upload episode eight on Tuesday. Which I'll already record on Monday. But therefore I have a little buffer. So this actually plays in, into my hand. Alright, before we start though, this is just one run after after the, uh, the run you've seen one and a half hours ago. There has been basically 10 hours between those two runs, but I have not done any other run in between. So this is actually kind of hype. I started with uh, Leon and Joey, because I thought that was just, this would be fun. And uh, before we go into the equips, I'm going to go into the decks. Well, Leon and I have got two preparations, uh, one retribution, which I got after 2-2, uh, and two, re two relentless wave, one stunning smite, one drop down slash. And yeah, the fixed skill is the preparation. As for her equipments, I have the flawless assault shield, which uh, increases attack power, and then increases attack power even more if the health gauge is protected, which preparation does. And I have a firm fox orb. You remember in one run we had the sealed orb, which we tried to proc. Well, in this run, I managed to do that, and damn, I am not disappointed. 25% armor penetration, 20% attack, 8% evade, 4% accuracy, and 20% lifesteal. Lean's not gonna die, unless something really stupid happens, or I have to put something like a you cannot be healed debuff on her. But if, if those two things don't happen, Lean's not gonna die. Ever. Um... So yeah, she's decked out pretty well. Joey is... Uh, I have one big problem with Joey, and that is that he does not have the uh, the one card I really want. We're currently on one health potion, two healing vapors, uh, two destruct, uh, self-destructing healing drone, and one healing fountain. I want to have chemical weapon on him, but I wasn't quite lucky so far. I'm going to level him up, though. Then we've got Hein. Hein is basically just there for more damage. It's got rage, which... Uh, Damages you, but lets you play a, a. But everyone gets a skill or other a buff that makes their next uh, skill proc twice. Uh, he's got two tier up, which is really good. A rage slash and an intimidation. He's just there, mainly there with igno for ignore talent. He's not even there to actually deal big deeps because that's what I have a Leon for, and that's what I have Ironheart for. My classic Ironheart build actually let me forget one of a chart of faith. I only I only need one. He's got one high energy emission, one weapon breaker, one charge of faith, one shock wave, one shield bash, and honestly, let's also forget this. Well, only these five skills. And his fixed ability is a basic attack. I only changed this for flash heal, because flash heal has the exact same healing value as for the regular heal, but also has swiftness. So this is pretty pretty good. You could, you could argue for healing potion or healing vapor, but then they would cost two or three respectively. Actually, let me, let me actually fix healing vapor. I want to try that out. Yeah, it is better with um, something like shield bash. I could also just fix shield bash and hope for a very, very, very big shield bash at some point. But yeah, as for the equips, I've only covered Leon so far. For Joey, I have old Bible, which gives him two healing power and his life stone scepter. Actually, let me see. Your healing power is 17.6. When I attach these two things, it is 17.5. It's a 0.1 difference. But this grants you 5% evade and 30% CC resist. I think I value this higher than the 0.1 healing. Yeah. 
Klein has the moon phase, which is attack plus three, healing plus three, health plus three, armor plus three, crit chance plus three, evade plus three, and a cursey plus three. I have a bottle of poison. I have nothing better to put on him. Uh, this would have been great. This would be great if Joey gets chemical substance, but even then I wouldn't I probably won't put it on him. Or on Huzz. This is like Huzz's best thing. And yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to give it to no one. Because I'm not going to carry this over. I'm going to carry this over if I can. And Ironheart uh, just has health stuff. I drop a lot of health stuff and he can do things with health. I don't really have good things for him. I don't really have good items. Like, I have two small barrier generators and uh, a potion of tough skin, which is also barrier generator. Got three potions. I, I, yeah, three potions. I don't, don't know what they do. A holy water and a pain enhanced potion. Uh, other than that, two really bad skill books, transfer scroll, steel shield. Could argue that I could just do this, give him more armor. Yeah, I think this is better than fifteen percent health. Right? Yeah, this should be this should be more effective health. And for relics, I have a twisted light, which means we cannot faint due to pain damage, or or any damage over time thing. I believe. Do not quote me on this. I believe this does not mean mean faint, but it means. Uh, death store resist because once it, it proc once and when it proc uh hind got uh hind got damage through the curse of a witch which was my one two enemy and he just stayed at one hp even though he should have taken more and the ancient shield which when the battle starts it creates a barrier of seven a party barrier of seven and the barrier gets bigger per boss defeated so at this point it should be 7 plus 8. No. It should be, yeah, 7. If, does, it, does the first one count? It's either 15 or 17. One of those. Could be 19 because I'm stupid. But I'm not sure yet. We'll see. So this is just a good uh, good buffer for damage. And this is, this is just great. So I cannot faint from pain. All right. Without further ado, though, let's jump in. I've talked for seven minutes already. Gotta be a bit, a bit more quiet because it's almost eleven p.m. and I don't wanna, don't wanna inconvenience anyone. Else. Oh yeah, I, I have a Dorchi here. Oh no. I have to kill Sir Dorchi? Well... That's kinda of sad. What the fuck? That was uh, apparently that was his storyline. This is a revival statue, ain't it? Oh no! Remove a character skill and replace it with another party character skill. Eh. Could be funny with shield bash. Giving shield bash to a character with high attack. Really, this could be funny with shield bash. Uh, I will think about it. All right, I do need the capsule. There's one enemy here, which is a very annoying enemy. So stage six always looks the same, and stage six always is the same. And the dark silhouette here is actually really good. So this will always do something whenever I do something. Usually it's damage. But yeah. It's recommend that a little bit. 
Uh, hey, energy on mission for you, then you should die. Yeah. And he dies too. I still have my turn though, so I'm gonna abuse that. Uh, oh yeah, I didn't talk about my, my draw skills. I'll do that in, in a second. Alright, now we get these. Uh, yeah, they exclude cards with their skill. This is an annoy a, a particularly annoying enemy, but I think we should be able to kill it quite handily. Just with a swiftness and no. all. Oh. Find an attack? No, but I can find a healing room. Oh, apparently that counts. Alright, and there's one more. Ooh, shield bash. Sadly, barriers are out. Alright, you get your turns. So yeah, this is just a... This stage is pretty much very, very simple. Okay. I could just charge a faith here. Use prep first, then charge a faith. So this will always attack him. It will die the next time it tries to move, but we can also do this. And easy. Also, first fight, we do not get soul stones anymore. Oh wait, it was not quite the first fight, was it? It was. So yeah, uh, we do not get soul stones from this point onward. Okay, this is what we need, but I'm scared of that fight. I do want to show the final boss. Ah. So here we can buy more stuff, like magic bread, not what we want. And we can... Actually, we can use our money to identify our items. We are not going to buy anything. Any hoozles. Attack power increase, big. Energy drink, quite big. Weakening potion, quite bad. Attack power increase, auto lean. She's literally our big damage. So, the way this stage works is I have the worst RNG. That, that would mean that this is either the two cages or the... Oh, you son of a... So, basically, there are two sets of these things. This is the first set, and over there is the second set. I don't know if both contain the same fights. Uh, they both definitely contain one fight. If I, if I finish one of these fights, the other one uh, is finished too. And if I use one of these facilities, the other one is done. I don't need any of these facilities, and I do need one of those facilities, but I'm a bit too chicken to try. Because the enemy in here is actually pretty strong, and I would rather just... I would rather just fight the final boss. But I want to carry this over. First off, let's level. Uh, we do not get chemical substance, which is kind of sad. So take this and remove the healing fountain. I want to get another draw skill and I take heal up. And we get, we don't get any more level ups from there. Hmm, you know what? YOLO. Yeah. Both well, are three enemies with shared health, but they are nasty. As you can see, nasty. Maybe we can finish them. Let's get a counter from two, so we do this. I don't have a counter in my hand. I still don't have a counter in my hand. So they share their health, which makes this fight a bit better. 
but they're still kind of annoying to fight. I got rage here. Do this twice. So we do deal this damage twice as well. Great. Now he attacks with Firebolt. Actually, this isn't too bad. This always strikes first, but... Mm, let's see. Use this. All right. Do you use prep? Uh, blade grinder. We get over that in swipe and bar, but I don't think it helps us. This helps us for sure. I think this is just over? I think I just win? Yep. Okay, this was easier than expected. Alright, now I can either do this or this. So either I can... Uh, this is basically letting me carry one thing over. And uh, this thing would give me another relic. And, and would let me transfer it immediately as well. For the sake of this run and for the sake of the next run. I'm gonna do this. Now our next run I will immediately get the firm fox orb. I hope that's how it works, or I get the sealed orb, that would be fine too. And now this is unavailable. We're all full life, but the burn is still on, which is sad. So we do this. This this is a good fight to unwind. Oh no, it's not a good fight to unwind. And now we're shared health, but they're a bit nasty. Silhouette and retribution. Oh, okay, cannot faint. Nice. Uh, okay. They will always attack the first and last, so that makes it easy to, pr uh, to predict. Okay. Difficult. Okay. And better cover. Yep. Based. The bread and elliptic scroll. And now we can either revive someone for free. Or I think this is also something with skills. 
Yeah, yeah Lucy skill, but it cost me 1,000 gold. Uh, not so keen on that. Not so keen on this either. I think I just go in. I think just going in is the best choice I have. Oh yeah, I'm gonna buy some of the bread to heal Hindful. Alright, this is our setup. For the final battle. Let us see us through. It is the Forgotten King. I have never finished in a next bird. He is hype. He is a major pain in the ass. But at the same time, he is one of the most fun boss designs I have ever had the pleasure of fighting. And I mean that with all due respect. Let's see if I can do them this time. So, first off, gimmick number one, slacking. If I use this skill that it has this debuff, the Gotten King's attack will increase by 10%. And this skill will be excluded, so I will it will not return to my deck. Quite frankly, I don't want that. We are our turn. All right, I want to redraw. Sag did not give me what I wanted. All right, we go for another tear up. And then we're going to go for Stunning Smite. Oh yeah, we can Healing Vapor. The grounds was a bit... Uh, grounds was a few options. We let uh, Hein get checkled. Okay. I don't want to use Drop Down here. Parries with a stunning smite, he gets stunned. Alright, we need to kill this pretty fast. Nice prep. I wanna redraw something. Have a drop down. I think I can make this work. This will definitely save, uh, save poor boy. I'm gonna use video in there. Yeah. Now he's no longer uh, restricted. Fine. Now he's restricted again. Another healing. Swiftness? It is, it is not swiftness. Uh, the Helios Shetling Chain of Law. Uh, this time I think Iron Heart is a better choice. Build up. Light Grinder. This thing's almost dead. Ooh, now I get the skill that I wanted. 
right at the bottom of my deck. So, we're still in phase one, so everything is still normal. Can't really do anything to him in this phase, because, uh, in this turn, because, well, got nothing to do with it. So, next turn it is. Ah, oh, we got Terra. Very nice for more damage. Shield Flash deals 51 damage, that should be fun. It takes... Joey, I'm done for. I couldn't have used Flash Shield, so... Yeah! Now we're in a bad spot. <laughs> now we are in a legitimately bad spot. Okay. Let's see how this plans out. Uh, him. Why must always someone die right at the beginning, when I can't revive them? I didn't even have healing items here. Right. Oh, I should have shielded him. Fuck. Uh, yeah, no, I want to keep a retribution actually. Sag, we will die. Unfortunate. Yeah, he always attacks with one person he shouldn't. Ah, oh, that is so sad. That is indeed so sad. Alright, but we get to see his next phase. What? It's already time for that? Uh, okay, this is the unluckiest fight I had against him. Because now we cannot move at all. But well, we tried. So we do not get to see phase 3 because we cannot move. And we got incredibly unlucky with everything he did. But this is the final boss. And it's incredibly cool design. Maybe next time, or rather in the next bonus episode, or whenever we see him again, we get a little bit more lucky than this. Cause come on, the amount of time he just attacks with one person he shouldn't. Kinda of ridiculous, mate. But yeah. I hope you guys have a good night. And stay healthy. Until next time. Bye bye.